We got a big box of books back from CGC. If you want to check them out with me, stay tuned. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Danny with Danny Girl Comics, and I am back with another CGC unboxing video. As I stated in my previous video, I did have a 25 book submission that I was waiting on. This box looks pretty big. We'll see how many are in here. This was a pre-screen for 9.8. None of the books have been pressed. This was just me testing my grading skills using my eye and trying to uh, pick out as many 9.8s that I could. We'll see how many we hit, how many got rejected. We'll look at those two, if there are any that got rejected. And um, I will say that uh, some of the books that are going to be unboxed will also be up for sale. Uh, I do have a selling page on Instagram. I'll make sure to link that info below. I'll put it up on the screen as well. I do also have a selling profile on eBay and Mercari. Um, if you're wondering how I ship, I'll give you a little uh, insight to that as well. I ship very well, but I don't want you to take my word for it. I'm going to go ahead and show you my profile a little bit later on in the video so you can see what some of my customers have said regarding how I ship my uh, books. All right, so I don't want to dilly-dally with this submission. I want to dig right into it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is a pretty big box. Um, I wasn't sure about doing a 25 book submission again. I did one in the past and uh, I did pretty good on it. Um, the reason why I thought that I wouldn't do it again is because the reject fees had gone up from when I first did it, which was $5. And now I believe it's $8 if your book doesn't hit your um, pre-screen grade. So, but the thing that swayed me into doing the 25 book submission again is because I still have the CGC discount. I was able to renew my membership uh, right before they raised the prices for grading. So uh, I, my uh, submission fees are less than $20. I wanna say it's $19.80 for each book. So I thought I would go ahead and take advantage of that while it lasts. Uh, I think it's gonna be ending either April or May when it's time for me to renew my membership. So I figured I'd go ahead and take a chance and try and get those, uh, you know, uh, 9.8 pre-screens in uh, while it lasts. All right, so we didn't hit them all. I can already see there is a box in here that says raw books. So that means that uh, we did not get all of them, but there are a good amount of books still in here. So um, we'll see how we did. Let's get into it. I am going to put on my uh, glasses so that I can read the labels and make sure I'm giving you the right information. Uh, so one moment, please. All right, got my readers on. Let's go ahead and get rolling and jump into this submission. The first book we have is Something is Killing the Children, Issue 17. This is the Glow in the Dark variant. So we hit that in a 9.8. I'm actually gonna test this and see if it glows in the dark uh, before this video is over. We're gonna test it. All right, all right, looking good. Next up, ooh, we have Geiger. Issue number one. And I enjoyed this series. Uh, I thought it was a good read. I just got the one shot that came out, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. But I thought that was a pretty good series and I'd like to see where it goes from, from where it left off. Oh, another Geiger book. Also Geiger issue number one, the glow in the dark variant. I'm gonna test this one too. I wanna put it on camera and let's see how, uh, if I can get them to glow, so. 
Glad those came back in 9.8. Again, none of these books were pressed, just me testing those good old grading skills. Next, we have Barbaric, issue number one. This is the Axe variant. Uh, again, I read this series and I enjoyed it and uh, I thought it was a fun read. Uh, I'm interested to see where it goes from where it left off. Uh, next up, we have another Something is Killing the Children book. It is issue number 14. Uh, this was a Comic Mint exclusive. And uh, I actually ended up getting this from a retailer in the UK. I uh, can't remember which one. It may have been... Um, 789 comics, I think. It took a long time to get here. Uh, I think they kind of uh, forgot to ship it to me, so I had to correspond with them. But I will commend them for shipping it well. Uh, it came back super minty, and uh, yeah, this book was perfect. I knew a couple of people that got theirs, and theirs had a few spine ticks, so I was happy that this one came in. Um, and again, a 9.8, we're gonna take these all day. So this box is looking pretty full here. So I, I don't think there's gonna be many rejected um, raw comics. All right, we got another Something is Killing the Children. Here it is, issue number one, the A printing. And I think I have a couple of those, but uh, that one was the one that looked the best. Uh, so I thought I'd take a chance and send that one in. That one will be for the PC. And I'll probably just sell the raw ones eventually. All right, our next book is Basilisk, issue number one. This is the second printing. And so I think this is the book that had the House of Slaughter uh, preview in it. So I went ahead and sent that one in. Uh, one thing I will say about Boom Books is uh, they come in really well. Like, I mean, uh, they rarely need to be pressed, at least the ones that I get. And uh, yeah, they just come in so minty and you can just send them right off to CGC with no press if you take a good look at them. Okay, okay, we roll in with Spawn, issue number 301. This is the Alex Ross cover. This cover is super awesome. The detail in the, the, the background is, oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys can see it really well on the screen, but uh, this is such a beautiful cover on this record-breaking comic for Spawn. Okay, next. Okay, so we have a couple of these. This is uh, Thor issue number six, the second printing. We all know there's a little bit of spec on this book, but who knows with Donnie Cates. Could be something, could be nothing. This is an awesome wraparound cover. And I submitted like four of these just in case. And I asked for two to be uh, in regular, and I asked for two to be um, with a custom label on it. So here's the other one. Uh, so I got two, did I hit all four? I don't know which books got rejected. So let's see, is there another Thor in here? There is, so let's see, this one does have the custom label. There it is. And then there is one more in here with the custom label. There it is. All right, so all four of those hit in a 9.8. I still have a lot of those raw too, but just wanted to have at least one for myself um, with the custom label on it. Okay, let's keep rolling. Next up, we have We Live, issue number five. This is the third printing for this book. And uh, this was such an awesome series. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I always try to find some comics that I can uh, go and read with my kids. 
And uh, this was one of those books. Uh, they enjoyed the story a lot. And, um, you know, they were looking forward to the next series. And back when we first read it, I said, well, it's going to be a while before it comes out. And they're looking forward to it. So mom is doing her job, pulling the kids into the hobby, at least reading right now. But I am happy to have that back in 9.8. Let's get it. All right. Next we have, yes, We Live issue number one. And this is the first print of this book. And it's a beautiful wrap around cover. And we hit that 9.8 with this one. So I still have one of these raw as well. I had a third one, but I sold that a while back. Um, but yes, I'm happy about this. The new series is about to come out. And um, we got the first series for the PC all up in a nice, beautiful slab. I'm digging it, y'all. All right, next up we have another Something is Killing the Children book. This is issue number 15. This was an exclusive uh, variant that was uh, with Frankie's uh, comics. And this one was super limited. I wanna say the print run was maybe um, 500, something around there. But I know that when these went on sale, they may have been split with uh, Golden Apple. I think that's like a partner store, but that book went in seconds. I felt lucky to be able to grab one of these. This one is definitely for the PC, and I am super happy that it came back in a 9.8. Again, no flaws on these. The Boom books are just, they're A1, I'm telling you. You don't need to press them at all. Speaking of Boom, it looks like we have another Boom book. This is Seven Secrets, issue number one. And this is the Akira Homage variant, but this is the red foil. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of shiny down there. Uh, I have the regular variant like this. And then uh, for whatever reason, I didn't send in the red foil one back when I submitted those. So I love this cover. Uh, Akira Homages are, you know, they're awesome. A lot of them turn out really great. And this one is no exception. And I'm super happy to have this one back. All right, whew, I feel like I need a sip of water. We rolling with Black Panther, issue 25. This is the Gleason variant. Again, another book that I grabbed right off the shelf from my LCS, Super Minty. Went on ahead and submitted it with no press. Awesome. All right. I'm really curious on the books that didn't make it because it feels like a lot of them did. Next, we have some Miles Morales books. Y'all know y'all wasn't gonna get out this video with either some Miles or Wolverine. It's been a while since I've submitted, so I don't remember all that's in here, but you know it had to be either one of those in this submission. You can't get found without one. We have Miles Morales issue number 23, and this was another uh, Frankie's Comics uh, Golden Apple exclusive. Um, and of course, it's the Michael Jordan uh, homage cover. And this is the Virgin variant. And yay, we got the custom label. Y'all know how I feel about those. So I just realized something. I didn't even think about it when I looked at the Thor books. These books have the custom label. In my last video, I told you guys that um, the submission had been split in two. And um, that submission is still showing as engraving and quality control which are the books with the label on it. So um, I think CGC has a little snafu there because it looks like maybe this is the full 25 book submission. I thought they split it uh, on my dashboard. It was 17 books that are no label and eight books that I submitted to get a label. 
and it's still showing those eight books <laughs> have not been shipped but this is one of them so um that's a little odd but hey if they got it all back to me in one shipment i'm digging that i'm feeling that i'm happy to have them all back so this is the full submission then so i'm sorry we won't have two separate videos but we'll have just one big long one here all right we got some more Miles Morales books in here. Let's take a look at the next one, which is Miles Morales, issue number 25. This is the uh, Del Auto variant. Uh, this was an exclusive through IG Comic Store. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like this book. I still thought it was okay. Um, I think it's a beautiful color. I like the color scheme on here. It's very different. And uh, yeah, IG UC uh, has really minty books when they send them out to you. Uh, again, not every book needs a press. Try your luck. Look at the books really well. And uh, you know, send them out to see if they just get a 9.8 or 9.6 without pressing. All right more miles morales it looks like this is actually an asm book amazing spider-man issue number 68 however it is the miles morales trading card variant loving it i'm loving it y'all okay couple more books here we have another miles morales issue 25 this is the Bagley variant. And I actually have one of these signed by Mark Bagley as well. So this will pair nicely with the uh, signature. The one thing I was kind of bummed about with the signature one is I asked for the custom label on that one and they didn't give it to me. So at least I have one of them with the custom label. Digging it. All right, we have two more books to go. Whew, I need to take a little breath here, my goodness. What do we have left? We have Miles Morales issue number 26. This is the Ultimate Fallout 4 uh, homage variant. And um, this was an exclusive, I believe, from the Comic Mint. And uh, yeah, another set that just came in looking really great. Uh, no issues, no spine ticks, and um, yeah, these look awesome. And we are down to the final book in this box, which is Miles Morales, issue number 25, and this is the Greg Horn rookie card variant. I love this cover. Uh, it is absolutely awesome, and uh, I have a couple of these. I wanted to have just at least one in a slab, and um, I picked out the best one of the bunch, and I am super happy to have this bag. Y'all know I am. Y'all know I'm geeking out real hard on the inside right now with these Miles books. All right, so that was a lot of books. So let me just do a quick count here. So this is 23 books that came back out of a 25 book submission. Y'all, I am happy with that. 23 out of 25, your girl's eye is pretty good. I'm gonna take that. But let's see which books did not make the cut. And I'm pretty sure that hopefully if they didn't get damaged, on the way there, on the way back. Maybe if I give these books that didn't make the cut a press, that maybe they will. All right, so I flipped the books around to see the reject books. Uh, CGC usually puts a barcode on there so we wouldn't be able to see the books very well. But these are the two books that did not make the cut, which was Ice Cream Man issue number 24, and this is like a clockwork orange uh, homage variant. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that movie, but that's what this is an homage to. 
And it looks like our We Live issue number five did not make the 9.8 pre, pre screen cut. Um, this, these two look really good. So I think with the press, we'll go ahead and resubmit these and uh, see what we get. They probably are at least a 9.6, I would, I would think. But when I submit these next time around, I'm not gonna do the pre screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and submit them. Woo, that was a lot of books to get through, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm super happy that most of them came back in a 9.8, but we have another CGC book to unbox. This one came right after the 25 book submission came. So uh, let's go ahead and do a bonus unboxing. This is a signature series book uh, for the Jim Lee signing. It took quite a while for this book to come back, but I'm uh, happy to see what we got. So when I submitted the book, I was estimating it to be around a 9.4 to a 9.6 maybe with the press. Uh, I didn't think it would hit a 9.8 um, because I did see a couple of flaws on there that were not pressable defects. So um, let's see what we got. The book I submitted for the Jim Lee signing was X-Men issue number four. And we got a 9.6. Yes, yes, yes. I am happy with this grade. Let me see now if I can find the signature. Ah, looks like it's at the top here which is uh, interesting because uh, I put a note on there asking for it to be signed in a specific spot, but it looks like it was not, uh, which, is, which goes back to my previous video. I used the CGC window bag for this submission and it just leaves such an open space where um, the artist can just sign anywhere. And I wanted to try it to see if I put a note on there and use the CGC window bag, would they still sign uh, of the place of my choosing? Uh, that did not happen. I'm still happy to have a Jim Lee signed book. However, going forward, I think I'm gonna just do uh, my own window bags if I want a specific spot signed. But I already have this in a 9.8 so now i have the pair of them together and uh man i'm happy to have both of these for the pc 96 sign 98 blue label let's get it y'all let's get it yes 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 all right a couple of other things i want to share with you guys um, I picked up some really cool prints. I'm thinking about changing the pictures in the back, maybe the posters at least. Um, and I started looking for some other art that I can hang on the wall. And I actually came across these art prints that uh, I thought were kind of cute and may make for some good decoration in the background. The first one is a Spawn Funko print. And uh, you got Spawn holding a skull. And uh, I don't know, it's just something about this. I think it's really cool and uh, it's gonna make for a good background. And then we have one more, which is the Miles Morales Funko print. And I just think this is so dope. I love it. He actually has the Nike swoosh on the sneakers. Uh, the, I don't know the person that actually made these and how they made these, but uh, I'm digging these. And there are so many. They, they have a lot of these. Um, Punisher, Iron Man, Venom, Incredible Hulk, you name it. They have so many of these. They have Star Wars ones. And uh, I, I was waiting to see, you know, how these would look in person. And I am going to be ordering a few more of these to go ahead and fill up the wall. The last order of business on this video today is to uh, go ahead and use this video as a giveaway video. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I had a bunch of books that I wanted to do over the holidays as just because giveaways, you don't have to do anything but leave a comment so that I can use the comment picker to pick winners. 
and I want to go ahead and give the rest of these books away. So what we have is two sets of vinyl issue number two. So it's a, a virgin trade dress set. Um, I have two of these that I will be giving away. And I'll also be giving away Ha Ha issue number six. This is the spy versus spy homage variant. And we are going to go ahead and give away Nice House on the Lake issue number two, I believe. And this is an exclusive cover. Um, so yeah, good luck to everyone. All right, everyone. So as promised, I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at my profile. Uh, uh, it's under Danny's Collectibles on Macari. But I just wanted to give you guys a, a look at uh, what my customers think about my shipping. And as we're scrolling here, you can see there is a common theme where uh, the rating that you see is great packaging, great packaging, great packaging. So I just wanted to uh, reassure you that if you do decide to buy any comics from me, whether they're slabbed or raw, that I will take great care in packaging them uh, so that they get there safely and hopefully uh, no damage from uh, any postal carrier. So that was a quick look at my ratings as a seller. Again, uh, I want you to feel comfortable if you decide to purchase any of the books that I put up from this unboxing. I do already have previous stuff listed as well. If you want to find me, if you want to reach out to me, uh, again, you can uh, reach out to me on Danny Girl Comics for Sale. I'll put that up. Uh, that's where those books will be posted. Uh, you can reach out to me at dannygirlcomics at gmail.com or you can even hit me up on my regular comic Instagram page, which is just dannygirlcomics. That is my unboxing video for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. I know this video was a little bit longer uh, than I expected it to be because I thought it was only going to be about 17 books, but it was the whole shebang. So I appreciate you sticking around and taking the time to watch this video. Until next time, remember, show your collection some love. Take care.